Hi, this is Dr. Karna Kumar speaking, consultant hematologist and bone marrow transplant physician. So today I'll be speaking mainly on the dietary aspects of uh, patients with uh, ITP. Uh, is there really a diet plan for ITP patients? So are there certain foods which you should avoid? Or including certain foods, is it going to help you by increasing your platelet count? So I'll be addressing all these concerns uh, in this video. So ITP, we all know that it's an immune mediated disease. Our immune system somehow behaves abnormally and attacks our platelets and clears them from the circulation. So why does the immune system behave abnormally in these patients? Is it something to do with your diet or your lifestyle or your habits? So a lot of studies have shown that ITP, there is no relation with your diet or lifestyle or any of your habits. So what controls immune system? So how is it regulated on a day to day basis? And uh, why does our immune system protect our body whereas it attacks anything foreign to us? The key to immune system function lies in certain genes of our DNA. So those are the genes which decides the function of immune system. Our immune system is very complex and most of it is determined by the genetic makeup of a person. And because ITP is an immune mediated disease and it is regulated by certain genes of our DNA. So just making changes in our diet or including or excluding certain foods is not going to help you to control ITP disease or going to help you to increase your platelets. So we need to use drugs which going to regulate our immune system or increase the platelet production. So now coming to your topic, is there a diet plan uh, for patients with ITP? Patients of ITP on treatment, they need some dietary advice. So usually when the patient is diagnosed with ITP and when they have a platelet count less than 30,000, we usually start medications and uh, usually the first line medication are steroids. So you ask doctor, why steroids? Why not other medications? So many people believe that steroids are harmful drugs and they have a lot of side effects. Uh, so discussing this aspect, so why steroids are preferred uh, in ITP as a first line medication? Steroids have a certain peculiar features. These drugs effectively control uh, ITP disease, effectively control our immune system thereby increasing the platelet count. And also steroids have a faster onset of action when compared to other medications. So these are the two reasons why these steroids are used as first line medications. But steroids are wonderful drugs and very effective drugs if used for a shorter duration and used at a right dosage. So usually steroids are given for at least four weeks and then tapered over two weeks and then stop. Once these patients are on steroids, few of them can experience certain adverse effects. So their appetite usually goes up. Uh, they have a lot of food cravings and they feel like eating food uh, frequently. Uh, their blood sugar levels can shoot. Uh, so they can develop, uh, they can put on weight and they can, uh, they can have uh, this puffiness of face and swelling of feet. And even steroids sometimes can uh, uh, alter the calcium metabolism and they can reduce the bone density and can cause osteoporosis also. So there are many adverse effects linked with steroids if taken for a longer duration. So whoever uh, are on steroids, they should follow certain dietary restrictions. So we advise them uh, to go on um, low calorie, low sugar diet. So preferably the patient should avoid sweets and um, uh, junk foods and fast foods, uh, you know, uh, with which have a high calorie and low uh, nutritional value. And this patient should avoid uh, foods, uh, high sugar drinks and fried foods, processed foods, because all these uh, kinds of food usually promotes weight gain and they additionally uh, increase the blood glucose levels in these patients and can really affect these patients badly. And also we advise these patients uh, to reduce use the salt intake why because the salt always promotes uh, uh, water retention and it can promote uh, weight gain uh, in this patient so those patients are on steroid preferably they should go for a uh, foods with low calorie and which is rich in vegetables and rich in fruits uh, especially fruits which have a low glycemic index and they should be able to they should be uh, they should prefer uh, uh, food with uh, whole grains to satisfy those food cravings these patients can eat uh, frequently in shorter durations rather than binge eating at a time uh, and, and uh, choosing a uh, diet which is high in fiber uh, can really have a uh, re can really satisfy your appetite and can reduce uh, eating uh, foods which are high in calorie also steroid can cause uh, you know changes in mood and can also cause sleeplessness so better to avoid uh, uh, caffeine products uh, while you are on steroids
and one more important instructions uh, so if you have a habit of alcohol intake better to avoid alcohol uh, if you have pay, if you have itp disease why because alcohol has a property to reduce platelet count and can also reduce the function of platelets which can precipitate bleeding uh, in certain patients there are certain food restrictions you should uh, remember when you uh, take these tablets uh, called as thrombopoietin agonists which are uh, eltromopac uh, which goes by the trade name um, uh, thrombopac or revelate so when you consume these drugs it's very important to uh, take them in empty stomach so why because if you if you take these tablets with food or uh, any other uh, uh, beverages like tea coffee or if you take with multivitamins or calcium supplements you know these uh, all these uh, drugs and food items can inhibit the absorption of drug and the drug may go just waste so remember when you take thrombopac eltromopac drug you should take it in an empty stomach and preferably better to avoid uh, food items and uh, coffee tea and uh, milk products or dairy products and uh, even multivitamin supplements at least for 2 hours around the uh, drug intake so these are the dietary changes which uh, itp patients should follow while on certain medications so eating overall a healthy balanced diet which is rich in vegetables and fruits with low glycemic uh, index and eating whole grains is definitely going to help you uh, to uh, get rid of the fatigue which the most of the patients have and also helps you to maintain ideal weight hope this video is useful to you all and uh, thanks for watching see you bye